United Way is taking on poverty in a big way. The nonprofit just announced this week a new goal to help lift 10,000 families in our area out of poverty by 2021. Now, the plan is to partner with other local groups in the community, like the Urban League and other organizations. Nikita Anderson participated in the Accelerated Customer Service Education Program powered by the Urban League. She says it wasn't just the training she got that made all the difference to her success. But being able to not just come and get like customer service training or help with my resume, interviewing tips, but transportation to the interview, clothing for an interview, that was definitely important because if I didn't have that, then I might not have the job. WCPO reporter Lucy May joins us now. And this was a big announcement this week that our, our area is just inundated with people under the poverty line, more, more so than most urban areas our size. Yeah, it really is. It's a huge problem in our region. The census figures just came out last week mm -hmm. that our region still has nearly 100,000 children living in homes that are uh, at or below the poverty level. So it's a huge problem. As we know, the Child Poverty Collaborative has been mm -hmm. working for some time. Their goal was to lift 5,000 families in Hamilton County out of poverty. The United Way came along and said, you know what, we want to double that number and go to 5,000 families families throughout the broader region. So it'll be 10,000 families total, and um, this could make a huge difference. And it, uh, this week on Good Morning Tries It, we spoke with Ross Meyer mm -hmm. from uh, from the United Way, and yeah. what he was saying is like, this is, this is collaborative, really. It's a comprehensive approach. Like Nikita mentioned there, it's not just teaching me how to get a job. It's taking me to the interview right. and giving me the, the skills that I need to get there. And it's, it's not a band-aid. Right, exactly. The po problem of poverty is so complex for families. Um, a lot of people who have never lived in poverty or don't know someone who's living in poverty will say to me, why don't they just get a job? Mm -hmm. Well, that sounds easy enough. I mean, we do have jobs available in the region, but if you don't have reliable transportation to get across town to where that mm -hmm. job is located, if you can't get find good, affordable child care, if you don't have the right clothes to wear mm -hmm. um, to your interview to get the job. So they're what these call, the, the United Way refers to them as wraparound services. They provide, the Urban League and other local nonprofits provide families with all the things they need to kind of overcome those hurdles and get on the track they want to be on. And specifically, uh, the United Way says 80% of the money it raise, raises is going to go to this. 80%, that's 80%. a huge chunk of their yeah, money. Yeah, it really is. 80% will go to the different nonprofits and programs that are work with families in poverty. And then another 15% will go to individuals in poverty. So in all, 95% mm -hmm. of the money that the United Way can allocate is gonna go towards helping people lift themselves out of poverty, which is really quite a dedicated move. And for those of us who are not under the poverty line, this is gonna help us in the long run as well. Yeah. It's kind of a trickle up. Theory, exactly, because our whole community is healthier when people can support themselves and their children. Nikita Anderson told me she wants to be self-sufficient. She mm -hmm. doesn't want to need food assistance. She doesn't want to live in subsidized housing. She wants to be able to afford a mortgage and have a home that she can pass along to her kids someday. Mm -hmm. That's what she wants, and we just need she just needs a little boost to help get there. If you want to read more about the specifics, how United Way is planning on doing this, you can do so right now at WCPO.com and just check out Lucy's article. Thank you. Thank you.